Today, we're gonna be building an air-powered rocket. Too difficult, you say? Nonsense, it's easy. It's not like it's rocket science. Hey, it is rocket science. Cool! Here's what you need. You need a bottle and a cork. Make sure that the cork fits nicely into the bottle, and then you need an air pump, because you can't have an air-powered rocket without air. And on this air pump, you need a pin, the special kind that you use to inflate basketballs or volleyballs or stuff like that. Now, what you want to do is push the pin through the cork. You might want an adult's help for this. Push it through until it goes through on the other side, and then make sure you get a good seal with the bottle. Now you're ready to launch your rocket with air pressure. But first, let's do a few other things. Take your cork and put it in a tripod launcher. You can make this out of pencils or anything you want, as long as it stands up nice and solidly. And then, of course, you want to decorate your bottle so it looks like a rocket. This is my rocket. Pretty good, right? So stick the bottle on the cork like before, like that. And then you stick the pin in the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to inflate the bottle with air pressure, and then it's gonna launch. Okay, here we go. Uh, you know, rocketry really isn't something you should do indoors. Come on. Uh, Do nicely. <laughs> now, don't forget to do this with an adult and don't forget your safety glasses. Now set up the rocket in a nice big open area and make sure it's pointed away from you. And then what you do is you pump the air pump and it puts air into the rocket, which pushes down on the water, which will push down on the cork until eventually <laughs> so, be science maximites and come up with your own rocket design. Try different amounts of water, different fins, even a different size bottle. Try it for yourself and see if you can get one that goes higher than mine just did. How did I get in? I think it was this way. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large.